it's Angie. I don't really have like anything written down to talk about. I just have a couple things I know of for sure. And but I just wanted to talk and say hi and show you a couple things that I got and a couple things I'm working on and I haven't been working on a whole lot of stuff really. I haven't been knitting as much as normal. Um, but first up, I want to let you know that after I'm done filming this, um, I'm going to go ahead and open my Etsy shop. So I'll put the link below to the name of it. And it's on Etsy, it's Angie's Craft Creations. But then everything, you know how Etsy, when you build a shop, it only lets you have so many um, letters in the URL or whatever but it's actually called Angie's Crafty Creations. I don't know. I'll figure all this out eventually and I'll tell you ahead of time I'm not gonna like push the shop and stuff. I just have so much stuff. I have made so much stuff and I've had a lot of people ask me if I sell it and I never have before so I figured I would try Etsy out. I'm still gonna do a big majority of what I make for charity and you know gifts and stuff like that and then I make stuff for myself but I figured I would give Etsy a try see how it works um, if it goes over well yay if it doesn't it's no big deal you know I'll just donate more so so you're not gonna hear me push it a whole bunch I will start putting a link to it down like in the notes section of the videos but like I said I'm not gonna be like pushing it so so anyway um, let's see up next I think I'll go ahead and show you projects. I don't have a whole bunch of them. Um, first one is a work in progress and you can see it's not too far in progress. It's only about four rows and I'm using this um, I don't remember if it's Hometown USA or Softy Chunky but I have the label somewhere I think. Anyway, what it's going to be is I'm making myself a jack-o'-lantern hat. And if you can see, I've got all these stitch markers along here. Because I'm trying to see if I can do something that looks kind of like a pumpkin. So I'm doing three, I don't know what you call it, three stitches of regular knitting and then three stitches of purl. And so it's taken a long time. And uh, I don't know. I need to finish it. I'd like to finish it at least before Halloween. I mean, I've still got those Halloween pillows where I got all excited and bought the fabric, the fabric with the bats on it and the fabric with the owls on it. I did cut the fabric out into the squares, but do you think I have done any sewing together of the fabric of the squares? <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I get these lofty ideas and then I get lazy. So, completed projects first one I showed you this yarn before it was made but this is a snake scarf it's the only one that I have made and I actually put up a Halloween tree and where I have it is where I normally have my Addy machines so I probably and plus when I looked at all the snake scarves I have oh my god um, that's actually all that's in my shop right now but there is going to be more there will be more than just snake scarves I just have so many of those but anyway, this is, I love this yarn. It's the team colors, or it's called Fan Pride, and you can get it in all different colors, you know, for team. And this is the black and orange. And I didn't get it for a team, I got it for Halloween. So, I made myself a Halloween snake, and he's got orange glittery eyes. So, I just made my nice little Halloween scarf. And I wore him a couple of weekends ago. My husband and I went to Worlds of Fun, that place that I told you I love, and they get all haunted and spooky and everything that I love at Halloween time. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Next thing I made is I finished this hat. It actually has a matching scarf. It's kind of like a beanie. You know, it's not like a slouchy hat or anything. It's just a regular size hat. And then next, something else I made for myself. This is made with, I love this chunky 
and it is um, Hobby Lobby yarn also and I got this on clearance for $2.99 and the color is called Holly Jolly I love that name isn't it Christmassy but I made a scarf and a hat a Christmas scarf and a hat and I think I showed you the scarf in process but here's the scarf and I love it because it's Christmas colors but it's not like in your face Christmas colors at least to me it's not and then I made a matching hat so there's the hat with the dog hair on it which is funny because my dog doesn't shed I don't know maybe it's he's a Shih Tzu and they don't shed but every once in a blue moon like a tail I almost said feather a tail piece of fur will come out I don't know or actually it could have even been one of my gray hairs <laughs> I don't know. he's blonde okay so let's see okay worlds of fun so that's it that's it for projects worlds of fun we go there most years um, this past year I actually got a season tickets so I've already paid ahead of time you know for the tickets to go out there and we went out to worlds of fun and oceans of fun it's it's like the companion water park and at halloween time they actually have both parks with things in them oceans of fun is closed for the summer in regards to swimming but they have haunted houses and stuff set up over there so really you're walking around the entire park and there's all these haunted houses and stuff they've built some are freestanding places they've built well this year because I had already spent the money actually like starting in October of last year which this year I'm going to do too because they let you pay payments like 10 payments and which makes it you know a lot cheap well it's not cheaper but you know what I mean it seems cheaper so anyway I surprised my husband and I bought us these Fright Lane passes and you just wore these around your neck and then you see where there's like the little stamps and so as you went through they would stamp it because it's good for one use for each thing so we got to go to every single one of the haunted houses and we didn't wait in any lines it was really cool I mean people give you some dirty looks but it's like if you want to do it then you spend 40 bucks a piece to do it because that's what we did you know so we got to see blood on the bayou which was new and it was so cool it was um, like a freestanding haunted house that they have built and so you know on the bayou so it's like um, you know that kind of voodoo and stuff like that so it was really neat one of the rooms looked like a giant Ouija board and then the um, oh my god why can I not think of it Pl planchette the thing that um, you put your fingers over that that's supposed to move on a Ouija board which I won't do anything I don't touch Ouija boards but anyway it was like one of the characters was swinging on the planchette it was really cool it was like a giant heart beating in there it was I would love to be able to just have some time to walk around in there in the in the light because they had it decorated so cool you know just so I don't know it was just neat I can't even explain it I loved it and then we went to corn stalkers which is like a big corn maze London Terror which is um, like this section that they have all set up and there's werewolves in there they even have like a big giant mechanical one um, Chamber of Horrors I don't remember what that one was about Asylum Island which is really cool it's one they've had for a while that's over on the oceans of fun side and it's like um, it's probably why they call it an island because you know it would be surrounded by water but it's like an insane asylum where the insane people took over um, bloodshed which is like a farm gone totally wrong zombie high which is a high school that's zombified and lore of the vampire which is one that's um, it's got outside and inside and it's you know all vampire stuff but we had a blast and this was worth every penny to me I'll definitely do that again next year and I'd like to go out there one more time not to go through all the haunted stuff because we already did that but just to enjoy the atmosphere and the ambiance and I just love it out there they fog it up and they get the lights all different colors there's all kinds of characters that walk around 
during the day from like 10 to 6.30, it's kid friendly. And then 6.30 hits, that fog comes out, the scary creatures come out. It's, it's just really fun. I really, really love it out there. Okay, so next, I told you in my car vlog that I had gone to the Taylor Swift concert and I wanted to show you that bracelet she gave everybody. It looks like this. It just looks like a plain white bracelet, but during the concert it lit up in sync with everybody else, all different colors. And then, so now you just, well, now it's going to make a liar out of me. Oh my god, it finally, okay, it didn't. It just stopped working. That is so funny. Well, I was going to show it to you. You can probably see maybe where it's lighting up red a little bit. But anyway, the phone's going to ring. Hold on just a moment. It was nobody. It was a solicitor. I'll get back to that in a second. Anyway, this bracelet was really cool. And I had saved it to show you guys how it lights up all different colors, but now the battery's dead. It doesn't work anymore. It was cool, though. Solicitors, just for one little, one little moment. We are on that do not call list, but we still get people that like to do surveys and just different stuff, and they call. There's one that was like... Nielsen or one of those really popular ones, I swear to God, was calling three times a day. We could see on the caller ID. And, you know, and it was like times when you weren't home. And so it was one time on a Friday when I was at home and I wasn't on, a, on like a conference call or something because I work from home on Fridays. And I answered it and I said, can you please quit calling my house? You just call every day, three times a day. You know, it's just really annoying. We're on the do not call list. And she claims at one time or another throughout the years that somebody in this house must have taken a survey. Because, you know, once you're a customer of theirs, unless you specifically ask to stop being on their list, they'll keep calling you. But so I have my answering machine. I probably sound like such a bitch on it because it's like I say something along the lines, if you're a friend or a family, please leave a message. If you are calling because you're a solicitor or you're asking us for donations, please hang up, do not call again. And, and I specifically say donations too, not because I don't like to give people donations, but my God, you give somebody a donation and then everybody calls you. It's, it's really annoying because it makes you not want to donate to anybody. So even though we do, we have several places we donate to. Okay, rant over. <laughs> oh. Next thing, this is yarn related. I actually bought some yarn from a place called, on Etsy, called The Rainy Apple Shop. I'm trying to see if that'll focus. Anyway, it's called The Rainy Apple Shop. And she does hand dyed yarns along with tons of other stuff. She does a lot of other stuff. And along with the yarn, I'm going to show it to you in a second, she even included this little card that says thank you and it's the care instructions and the reason there's an owl and a crow on here and the lettering is like all gothic and everything is because the yarn is called Hexed and it's her Halloween version and it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool this is fingering weight 440 yards 100 grams and I'm going to slip the sleeve off because I want you to see the colors. But here's the colors. You know, your you know Halloween colors with the purple and the black and the green and the orange. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to save it because I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. Um, one thing that was really kind of cool about her shop is she dyes it when you order it. So she had the picture, you know, isn't going to be exactly what you get, but it's really close. Anybody that hand dyes yarn, I'm sure you understand, you know, it's not going to be exact. But so she dyes it when you order it. But she does it really quick because, and she sent an email saying, um, here's when I'm going to do it. Um, then she sent me an, a picture of it hanging to dry. She sent a picture of it when it was packaged up and ready to be sent. I mean, she told me every step of the way. 
so I was really happy with this and the yarn is also nice and soft and I just love the Halloween colors but it's kind of it's kind of like my first it's my first hand dyed yarn that's not a Pam yarn but again you know this stuff costs more so it's gonna be something for me I just don't know what yet so I'm gonna save it and then next I have some little batty things that I bought you guys know I like bats that's another thing that I donate to is bat conservation and I just recently found out that my company that I work for does matching gifts so if you donate a certain amount of money they will match it um, every time you donate so I just found that out I didn't realize that they would match Bat Conservation International. I thought it was, you know, like the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and the American Heart Association, Susan G. Komen, you know, all the ones like that. But I noticed they put out a magazine quarterly and I noticed in the magazine they listed my company. So I asked them for their tax ID number and then I went online and sure enough, they match. So my donation is doubled because my company matches it. So Bat Conservation International, um, but I got some bats, not from them, just from different. I got this little fella. You may have seen similar little animals to this little guy that's by Ty. I have a couple of owls, and then he came out at Halloween time. He's so cute. I love his little purple ears and his purple wings, his little green eyes. He's so cute. And then I got, my husband bought me this. He's a little bat that, if you've heard of Harry and David, we got him from there. And it was funny because it was when we went to the Ozarks on our little mini getaway, our little romantic getaway. We went in there because they have like some salsa and some really neat treats and a lot of times they'll have good prices on them and stuff and that's actually where I got a really cool coffee cup let me grab it real quick I'm back it's just right in my kitchen so but I got this coffee cup there too it's Halloween but I just love it and it's got bats on it but I thought this was really cool but anyway, when we were up there at the register to pay, this little guy was hanging on the register. And and so I asked, well, where, where are those, you know? And she's like, oh, that's the last one. And so, of course, my husband snatched him up for me. So I got him. And then my last bat thing, I bought a t-shirt. And it's this one. It's a fruit bat. one of the black ones. Fruit bats come in several different colors. Also known as a flying fox. They have black and gray and red and brown. It's really cool. And I know people get creeped out by bats. You know, I don't. I even even if you get creeped out about them, I guess you could try to see what good they are for our environment and how they help pollinate and everything because almost all bats are pollinators so you know they do a lot for the environment they eat a ton of bugs so you know bugs that would be eating our crops and stuff the bats eat the bats are pollinating our trees they're pollinating our flowers our crops you know they're just really really very helpful to us and then my last, oh, my last bat thing. This is on my purse. So excuse me. Ooh. And my purse is, okay. <laughs> it was hooked. I got this little, you know how Bath and Body Works has those little pocket bags? Those little things that uh, hold the hand sanitizer. They had a little bat for Halloween. So I got him. I have him on my purse. I love him. He's so cute. Ugh. I love those things. They're hand sanitizer. It works really good and it smells good. It doesn't smell, you know, just like alcohol like so many of them do. And they put them on sale all the time. So, I think that's it. Um, 
then the I one thing I'll just say really quick because I I don't want to get sad but my friend Sheila that I told you about um, in my car vlog she did pass away that very next morning so uh, so yeah she's no longer suffering and heaven gained an angel so yeah that's it so yeah you know what I think I'm gonna go fill this cup up with some tea what kind shall I have I got all those teas from Adagio and I finally ran across one that was just meh. it didn't really taste like much but so far so good that candy corn one I still really like and then I got an apple cinnamon one a couple different pumpkin spice and then I got like a pumpkin spice caramel and a gingerbread so far so good I like all of them but I'm kind of I think I'm in the mood for a maple I have a maple one that's just a stash tea just the bag I think I'm gonna have that so yeah I guess that's it and I'll talk to you next time bye